If you refuse, you've killed me. Audio of Chief Shurumbira begging niece for Lula Lula leaked. Police in Masbingo province have opened an indecent assault charge against Chief's Council President Fortune Shurumbira after he allegedly Zully abused his 27-year-old married niece on two occasions, Newsday has learnt. The complainant formally filed a report at Masvingo Central Police Station under RRB 5,457,646 on Saturday last week, but Shurumbira, who is also president of Pan-African Parliament, PAP, is yet to be arrested. According to police, the case will be transferred to Harare where the alleged offense was committed. Shurumbira yesterday addressed traditional leaders in Mashonaland Central Province ahead of National Independence Day celebrations today, amid reports that some traditional leaders quizzed him over the issue and he professed ignorance. Shurumbira held a meeting and he just reminded traditional leaders to uphold the gains of independence. He was also asked by Chief Nembir, who is also a senator in the area about the report, and said he is not aware that there are allegations against him while police have not yet contacted him, one traditional leader said. When Newsday called him for comment, he just hung up. National Police Spokesperson Assistant Commissioner Paul Nyathi said they will issue a statement after today's event. It's too early for us to comment. Check with us after National Independence Day celebrations, he said. According to a leaked police memo, Shurumbira called the complainant on March 31 this year and invited her for lunch at a top hotel in Harare while she was on her way to Mazau on school business. When they were about to leave, the hotel, the accused started caress. Ing the complainant on her burrs. He also put his hand in her dress and k.s.s.e.d. her without her consent, the docket partly reads. Shurumbira allegedly later handed his car keys to the complainant saying someone would join her outside the hotel. It is further alleged that an unidentified male adult who had a badge inscribed Parliament of Zimbabwe later showed up as she was leaving the hotel, took over the car keys and drove her to Mazau. On April 2, at around 1 p.m., while in Mazau, Shurumbira reportedly called the complainant and requested to meet her in the central business district. The woman allegedly hitchhiked from Mazau to Harare where she met Shurumbira, who drove her to another upmarket hotel after taking away her mobile phone. The memo said the two spent about an hour in the 18th floor lounge of the hotel where they discussed Shurumbira's actions in their previous encounter. The complainant stood up intending to leave. When she was at the door leaving, the accused dragged her by her hand back into the lounge, the police memo said. It further alleged that Shurumbira later escorted the woman to his vehicle where she secretly recorded their conversation after getting back her phone. In a leaked recording, Shurumbira could be heard soliciting for a K.S.S. which the complainant turned down. I see more value and benefit in you and we being linked somehow, being friends, being very close friends, private, very close friends, Shurumbira is heard saying. When the need arises, we just get that close, that even int. Macy, when there is need and it is convenient for both of us. I see more benefits in that than anything, which is not beneficial. The complainant then said, it's the hardest thing. I am not good at meeting demands. Shurumbira allegedly pleaded for a K. SS, while giving assurances that he did not mean to harm her. Just a K. SS with me. Can it make the world collapse? If you refuse, you have killed me. The best goodbye is to K. SS me. I am saying it out of L0 V. There is one decision you made. It never destroyed you. You know better when you did it and with. You had to do it at some point although it was hard for years and, I am saying so because you have kids. Those decisions were very difficult. K. SS me to motivate me.
Observer said Shirumbira, a known close ally of President Emerson Monongagwa, could have been set up by state security agents after he recently publicly called for a coalition government between the ZANU PF leader and his political nemesis Nelson Kamiza of the Citizens Coalition for Change. Shirumbira made the remarks last month at the burial of Harare Mayor Jacob Mafume's mother in Mbetu village, Masvingo Province. On several occasions, Shirumbira has found himself on the wrong side of the national constitution after publicly pledging his allegiance to the ZANU PF leadership. High Court Judge Justice Clement Peary, in May 2018, gave Shirumbira a seven day ultimatum to statements that traditional leaders would support the ruling party in the harmonized elections. Shirumbira, however, repeated his claim that traditional leaders owned ZANU PF during the ZANU PF National People's Conference held in Bindora in October.